So a little bit more practice with y equals mx plus b. I think you might start to get the feeling like this is pretty important stuff. So uh, we have to be really good at graphing these lines um, coming out of grade 9. So just a, a little bit more. Something I just want to point out first though, just to remind you, if we had an equation that looked like y equals x plus 3, I just want to remind you that there is a slope here. The x is, uh, it does exist. So the slope in front of there would be 1 over 1. So rise over run, 1 over 1. There is a slope there. Same thing if you had a, an equation that looked like um, negative x plus 2. So we do have a slope there as well. It's negative 1 over 1. So we just assume that those values are there. This uh, is just a little bit more practice with graphing because you have to just be really quick with this and know exactly where these lines go. So graph each of the following. Here's an equation, y equals mx plus b. Remember that the y-intercept is where you start. So right away, I'd go to negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's my starting point. I'm going to go up 1 and right 3 because my rise is 1 and my run is 3, so I have a slope there. So I also am reminding you that you need to maybe repeat that a couple of times in both directions so that you get a really nice straight line. So that's y equals 1 third x minus 4. And I'm also reminding you that the line should be nice and straight and all the way across your graph. Here's another one, y equals negative 2x plus 1. Okay, the y-intercept is the number that's all on its own with no variable, so I go to 1, that's my y-intercept. From there, I have a slope that is negative 2. That means negative 2 over 1. From this point at 1, I'm going to have to go down 2, because it's negative, and write 1. So it's always to the right, but the negative means go down. If there was no negative there, I would go up. But I always go, in this case, 1 to the right. And I keep doing that because I always want to make sure um, that I'm getting a perfect line that is in the exact right spot. Okay, part C. Uh, what if you just get y equals negative 2x? So if there is no y-intercept here, um, that means that the y-intercept must be 0. So there is still a line here, but the y-intercept could be 0. From 0, negative 2 over 5 associate that negative sign with the numerator. So that means down 2 and write 5 from 0. Down 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I might try and go up this way and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 just to make sure my line is nice and straight. Okay, part D, if you have an equation that is x equals negative 3, that looks a little weird. Most of our equa equations are y equals mx plus b, y equals. If it's x equals negative 3, Go to x equals negative 3, and what that means is this line is always at negative 3, x equals negative 3. This is a vertical line through negative 3. Okay, a couple more. Uh, y equals 1 half x minus 5. So right away, you know that the negative 5 is where you start. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. I go there. I put a point there. From there, I go up 1 and over 2, up 1 and over 2, up 1 and over 2, and I might go in the other direction as well, just to be really, really safe. Okay, and this one, uh, y equals negative 1 quarter x plus 2. Remember that they could be written, I just haven't done many like that, y equals 2 minus a quarter x is the exact same thing. I know that this is my y-intercept though, because it's the number that doesn't have a variable beside it. So I'm going to go to 2 and start there, and then I'm going to go down 1 and over 4. So it's kind of like this is just directions. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's giving you directions on where your line should go. This is always rise over run for your slope. Okay. Um, we also might get the line and then have to figure out what the equation is from there. So equations always look the same. It's going to be y equals mx plus b. We can cheat and uh, just maybe go to the y-intercept first. That's going to be negative 1. So I know my equation is going to have a negative 1 at the back, but I need to figure out what my slope is. It looks like I'm looking for clear points again. 
So this looks like I'm going down one and over two, down one and over two. So one and two is the rise over run, but the line is going down. So this is negative one over two X minus one would be the equation. This one over here, if you wanna start with the Y intercept first, you know it's plus two. This equation is gonna end with plus two because that's the Y intercept. From that intercept, I see a clear point over there. So if I draw my right triangle in, and you could have done it, I mean, down here, it doesn't matter. Uh, that looks like a rise of two and a run of three. So I know my slope is two over three. X plus two would be my equation.